know you'll need me. Yeah. Hello guys, this is Just Right 92, and I'm back again with possibly my final video of FIFA 12 Ultimate Team. And we're gonna go out with a blast. Some of you may remember, some of you long, long, long subscribers may remember that. Last year I did a discarding of Gabriel Agbon Lahore. It took me, um, I think it was like a 10 minute video, I don't know, but it was pretty long. And basically, what I did was just filled my tray pile of Gabriel Agbon Lahore and I discarded every single one of his ugly face. Because he's OP. And who's the OP player this year? David. Afro. 99 pace. 99 shooting. 99 dribbling. 99 heading. 99 passing. Louise. Let's get on with it. I've got, what, 231k? Probably going to spend a lot, a lot, a lot of that. Now, I've got one big David in the trade pile. So, I'm either going to buy them now... See, there's one there. See, it's gonna it's gonna annoy me as well because I've got Alex as well. So we'll do the bins. Um, I'm not sure whether to do bins or bids. I'll try and buy all the ones under. There we go. Two, two point eight k, two point nine k, two point eight k, two point eight k. 2.8k, is he? No. 2.9k. 2.9k. So yeah, if you um, if you're one of my new subscribers and you didn't see my video about Gabby Agbonho last year, um, I actually that was probably the video that boosted my channel a lot because. A lot of um, like big YouTubers liked it, so for me it was um, like back in those days I had like 900 subs, and um, it was really um, nice to you know to see all the feedback and that you know you there was some people that that were saying oh you know just because it's like bottle or you know you don't really need to scold him but it was this is this, this is for like a joke really this is just for fun and uh, like Remy's just sold. So yeah, this is just for fun. I'm going to try and buy them all. Uh, whether it be a bid or a bin. We'll go up to 3k. See if we can buy them all. Okay, that's already got a bid on. So we'll... we'll let me do that. We'll buy the 3k ones. So yeah, um, while I buy these cards, well, let's have a little chat about what's going to be happening for FIFA 13. Demo is out in 10 days. Um like everyone will be doing, I probably I will definitely um be doing a review of the demo and what what I think of it and what you know, just give my two cents on what the demo's like. Obviously we all know the demo's not the same as full game. So that will be um it'll be interesting to, to do the demo and see what's going on and after that I think I'm not a hundred percent on the date but the um the what's it called the early release for the season ticket comes out i think it's a week before the release so it comes out on the friday so i'm guessing it'll be the friday before so i will upload some videos on that um i'll do some um team ratings you know player ratings um player faces like last year i did man U versus liverpool and stuff like that just to get a feel of what FIFA 12, uh, FIFA 13 is going to be like, and what I don't know, just what like everybody wants to hear. You know, if people want to say, "Oh, you know, what's this?" or "What's that?" or you know, just people that don't have the privilege of having the uh, season ticket. I'm sure a lot of FIFA YouTubers will be um, will have the season ticket, so expect a lot of videos. But like as I said, it's um, it's going to be um, good. So yeah, this is possibly my last video you know I'm, I'm still going to be playing all my team but i'm not really going to be doing any more squad builders because i've got a, quite a few squad builders on my channel now i made a playlist so i'm not really 
into making any more squads. I'm not really into doing anything really. You know, fifth of it, twelve. It's coming to an end. You know, it's not really. It's not really. A lot of people have like just dragging out of all oh, your, you know, still making ultimate team videos. People are trying to make FIFA 13 information videos and stuff like that. And um, I won't be doing anything like that because it's pointless, really. Because all the info you need will be, you know, on the FIFA website or whatever. So we're gonna. Jesus Christ! I just discarded the whole lot. <laughs> My whole watch list, pretty much. How much did I get for that? Like nine grand. Jesus Christ! I didn't know you could quick sell the lot like that. Okay, well that's speeded up the process, hasn't it? Um, and we've got a full trade pile as well, so we'll do these one by one. How much have we spent? Was I on almost a hundred k? Right, we'll keep going. What we on? We're only on f six minutes. Um, I'll probably go down to hundred k, and because <laughs> I could sit here all day and discard them, but I think we'll make a dent. We'll make a dent into the um. The overpoweredness of David Luiz. I mean, if you look at those stats, 79 pace, <laughs> that's a lie. Everyone knows that's a lie. 82 defending, that is definitely a lie. The guy just bosses people. He can shoot, he can hit. Do you know what? He's He might as well be called Ronaldo. If, if I think he's got two star skills, or three. But just imagine if he had four star skills. That would just be like crazy sort of insaneness you know it just <laughs> I can't words can't describe how much people would um love him if he had four star skills you know every team you sort of play it's him him and a you know a partner in crime whether it be company or Dede or Luce, uh, Lucio you know so I'm just discarding this whole tray pile and um We'll say see you later to Big David. And um, while I'm doing this, if you want to drop in the comments of who you think is going to be the um, the new overpowered player on FIFA 13, like last year, David Luiz wasn't really like amazing like he is today. But yeah, um, who do you think is going to be like really really overpowered on FIFA 13? Uh, there's a few sort of like options you could go for. I mean, David Luiz again is one. I bet he probably is really like. I think he is going to be like really, really overpowered on FIFA 13. Now, I don't really want Chelsea fans and fans of David Luiz to take this the wrong way. You know, it's not. Oh, I fucking hate David Luiz. You know, it's it's just for a bit of banter, you know. It, everyone should understand FIFA banter, you know. You, you, you can't take FIFA banter too seriously, you know. Everyone has a bit of FIFA banter in them. So, you know, I'm not doing this as a hatred way toward Luiz, you know, of, um, like, some weird freaky vendetta of, right, I'm going to fucking buy every David Luiz and discard him because I fucking hate the cunt. Because I don't. I've actually got him in my team and he's fucking beast. But I know there's some people out there that just, He's just everywhere. Every single team. Somebody has. It's Louise. 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 And it's a bit... It gets a bit boring after a while. Like, back in the day, I used to think, like, oh, my, what's the point in making a pace team? You know, I've got Team of Ronaldo and then, a, I don't know, Benzema informed back in the day when he first came out and, like, informed Ben Arthur when he first came out. And those sort of teams were... There was... <laughs> It was good at the time, but at the end of FIFA, you become to realise that pace is the key to FIFA Ultimate Team, and it's it's really sad that Ultimate Team has to come down and rely on pace, because as my pace team showed, like I literally just like made that pace team, and it's just. Like unbelievable! Like I've, the amount of games I've won with that team—it's just like really sad. Like the, the the video that I made, expensive versus cheap teams. Um, that's had a lot of feedback, and you know I read every comment, and it's interesting. Like some of you say, "Oh, you know, you've got an expensive team, and um, it's pointless 
crying about it, you've got to win with it. And there's other people that say, yeah, I've got a cheap team and I always be a decent team. So everyone's got their opinion on FIFA. And to be honest, FIFA 12 Ultimate Team, it's not been bad, you know. It, it's, it wasn't better than 11 and it certainly wasn't better than 10. 10 was the best FIFA Ultimate Team ever. So, let me just see if I've got any in my trade pile. Oh yeah, I have. So yeah, on a side note, I'd probably say FIFA 12 was a success. You know, everybody enjoyed it. You know, I wouldn't, wouldn't be playing it. We all wouldn't be playing it right now if we didn't enjoy it. EA have made a fucking shitload of money off us. Absolute bucket load. So, um, when the demo comes out in, what we're on, 10 days, you'll see my next video. Actually, I just forgot. I could have a video out after this, maybe three or four days later. It's like a little troll video, you know, just for a joke. So yeah, that's every single David Louise that I've um, bought. I've spent 130k. So, as I said, don't take this in a, a like a vindictive way. You know, it's not me saying oh, I hate David Louise. Actually, like him in real life, and um, it's just a bit of banter, lads. Just a bit of banter. Because people say, are you going to do the same again for Bonnell Hall? And I thought, you know what, why not? Let's go for it. Let's get the ball rolling. We'll go David Louise just for a joke. So, yeah, if you like the video, guys, please give it a like. Because um, it really helps me, you know. And uh, follow me on Twitter as well. Because that, you know, that's where you can get at me, you know. That's where I'm, That's where shit goes down. So, yeah, I hope you like the video, guys. Cheers for watching. And I uh, hope I haven't rambled on too much. And I'll see you later.